Hello, I'm Robin Vincent and welcome to the Molten Music Technology Tweaking Guide to Windows 10. This is a whole bunch of tweaks that intends to get Windows 10 perfectly working for music production. We have an expanded version of this video that shows every single tweak running on the Surface Book, plus every explanation to tell you exactly what each tweak does. This video is a shortened, compacted, checklist version of those tweaks that just gives you each tweak to do one after each other. The tweaks in this video are absolutely applicable to any laptop, any tablet, any hybrid, any Windows 10 desktop, any computer at all running Windows 10 that you want to get the best out of music production software. So let's get on with it. First, open the control panel and set it to small icons. Select Personalization. Set the screen saver to None. Set sounds to No sounds. Set background to Picture and select a suitable image. In the control panel, select Power Options. You may only have one entry here, or you may have three. Balanced, Power Saver, and High Performance. If you don't have all three options, you'll need to edit the registry to reveal them. To edit the registry, press the Windows button and type regedit, all as one word. Select regedit as it appears and open it. Navigate on the left from H key, local machine, to system, to current control set. To control, and then click on power on the left, and on the right there will be a list of entries. We want CS enabled. Double click it to open. Enter 0 as the value. Close the editor and restart your machine. Back to the control panel. Back to power options. You should now have three options, balanced, power saver and high performance under additional plans. You want to select high performance and click on change plan settings. Turn off display set to never, then click change advanced power settings. Turn off hard disk set to zero or never. Desktop background settings, slideshow, set to paused. USB settings, USB selective suspending, set to disabled. Processor power management, set minimum and maximum to 100%. Display, adaptive brightness, set to off. Back to the control panel, click on system. Click on Advanced System Settings on the left. Under Performance, click the Settings button. The visual effects can be left on, or if you prefer, select the Adjust for Best Performance option. Click on the Advanced tab. Set Processor Scheduling to Background Services. Under Virtual Memory, click on Change. Set it to Custom Size and then enter 4096 for both initial and maximum. They must be the same. Back to control panel, select user accounts. Set user account control setting to never notify. Control panel, Windows Defender. You can turn this off, but Windows Defender is quite low impact and virus protection is quite important these days. 
However, you can turn off all these settings, but please do so at your own risk. Now go to All Settings from the menu on the right, go to Privacy, scroll down to Background Apps. Turn off everything you find here. Right click the taskbar and select Taskbar Manager, click More Details if available. Click on the Startup tab and disable everything you find there. Check the icons by the clock. Turn off anything that doesn't need to be there. Right click on Start and select Command Prompt Admin. Type powercfg.exe space forward slash hibernate space off and press Enter. Turn on quiet hours to kill notifications. If you're on a laptop, then turn on flight mode when making music to disable Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. If you're on a desktop machine, then there are a couple of BIOS tweaks which are very, very useful. Find the CPU power management configuration. In there you'll find an entry for Intel Speedstep, sometimes called EIST or ICED. That should be set to disabled. The other setting is CPU C states. That should also be set to disabled. That's about it. Hopefully this will enable your Windows 10 machine to work brilliantly with music software and hardware. If you need further expanded explanations, then please check out our tweaking guide to the Microsoft Surface Book in our YouTube channel. Until next time, go make some tunes.